All right, guys. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up a, a Top Gun hybrid uh, system and a job as far as configuration and my, my recommended settings. So I'll, uh, I'm running uh, Magnet Field uh, 6.0 over here. Uh, older versions will work uh, very similarly too. So you can use this as a guide too. So uh, let me make a job. New, call it hybrid. Uh, I'm going to be georeferencing it to our to the state that I'm in in US survey feed. So I'm doing Maryland N8083 coordinates created by comments, whatever you like. I'm using a Topcon GT503 a robotic total station. And then I'm using a Hyper VR on a the Topnet Live uh, network connection. So that's my hardware. I am in the state Maryland. I have others that I might have used in the past, but uh, because I'm on um, TopNet Live, I want the datum to actually uh, say NAT83 no transformation. So this is correct for if you're connected to TopNet Live. This might not be true if you're connected to a different network. But um, NAT83 no trans, and I'm also using our uh, geoid model that's uh, current. Well, current, actually, there's 2018 out there, but it's mm, still the correct one as far as the 2012 version in the area that I'm surveying right now. So G 2012B wait. Next, I want to be in US survey feet. So that's correct. Uh, distance precision sometimes I mess with, but usually two decimals is enough. Next, grid northern easting elevation. Everything here looks OK. So I'll hit the green check. And the job started. Obviously, there's nothing in the job. So if you look at the map, there's not going to be anything here. It'll pull up, I think, just the center of the ocean over here. So if I zoom out, I don't think you can even zoom out. But um, this just indicates that nothing has been set up yet. So next, what I'm doing is I will actually connect to our instruments. None of them are connected to, as you can see by this little icon over here. So if I hit connect, uh, make sure that it says hybrid positioning if I'm connecting to both of them. And... Um, I'll just hit the connect last Bluetooth device because I already did this connection before. So it'll attempt a, a robotic and then the uh, moreover connection. Connection is, uh, again, for a completely different video here, but connections are now established. I should have, not only do I have the GPS connected, but I am now waiting for the total station to actually show up in here also. So we successfully have uh, connections to both our GPS, our total station, and there's connect corrections coming from a network. Uh, before I do anything, I typically like to just verify that whatever I'm seeing in this little indicator up top is actually true. So if I go into my survey screen while I'm in GPS mode, so this is my total station mode. If I go into survey, I can't go into Topo because the program will complain about not having a backside or any kind of information. So I'll say, I'll hit back over here, hit home and switch this to GPS. Under GPS, the GPS should be set up. It's outside. If I zoom in, this is where I'm actually sitting right now, outside of our training center in Salisbury. I am fixed and uh, I have relatively good uh, positions over here. What I like to also look at frequently is my PDOP value. Today is at a relatively low, around two-ish, I guess. So that's okay. That means uh, the GPS is reading, it is fixed. The GPS also has a relatively high accuracy position. So I'm happy to go ahead and proceed with trying to set up my total station. So switch over to my total station over here and I'll go into setup. And again, if you don't see these values or these icons in your settings, that's probably because you're in GPS mode and you'll notice that in GPS mode, there's no way to actually set up the robot. So I am setting up the robot and I'm doing it with a function called resection. I will make up a occupied point for it. So we'll say, call it point number one and we'll call this robot or whatever you choose. So this, this does not really matter. And my instrument height today happens to be 5.49 feet. Hit OK. It's a brand new code. We'll just confirm it. All right. So the first screen that you always see is specify a control point. 
if you're in the resection command. So uh, important, again, I can't stress this enough. This actually says fixed in the background, which tells me the GPS is working properly. Next, it says, all right, so we got to specify a control point. So I'm going to specify a control point. I don't have one to specify. So we're actually making up a point number over here. So I'll just type in, we'll call it 101, for example. Uh, now it's asking also, and this is something that you don't want to just skip over, what is the height of the prism? In my case, the height of the prism on the pole is from the down from the point of the prism pole to the actual dead center of the prism is exactly six feet. So six is the correct number over here. If it is something else, you will be running into problems. So just verify that this is correct. And this is where now you will have to take the time to actually take the robot and turn it towards your instrument. So I'm going to try to turn it to where the actual prism is. Uh, it's roughly correct. So we'll try to initiate a lock onto a prism over here. So the robot has to start looking for the actual prism. Once you see that it successfully finds the prism, these values will become uh, you know, actual live and you will have a horizontal and uh, or depending on what uh, values you'll see, but you'll have horizontal uh, slope distance possibly over here. I hear that it's already uh, connected. The icon changes, so that means it's locked onto a prism and you can maybe hear it in the background clicking. Uh, I'm really close, but I'm at 21.66 uh, feet. Uh, again, uh, for best accuracy and best uh, resection, you never want to be lower than about 100 feet, but because of the uh, uh, limitations of my recording equipment over here, I can't be too far away. But um, let me at least take it out a little bit further because even uh, this is a little bit too close for me. So hold on. All right, so I kind of moved the pole, uh, well, uh, to the 72 foot mark over here. It's a little, I could, I should go a little further, about 100, 150 feet is probably where my uh, happy mark is, but it's good enough uh, and my uh, recording equipment still connected to the actual GPS. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a measurement over here. So we'll hit start. It will now ask us, do you want to accept this measurement and you want to save it? So what this step does, it locks on um, to that prism uh, at this angle, horizontal and vertical angle at this distance saves it but it also requires a position and this position is read now by the gps sitting on the same prism on top with these northing easting elevation values that are pulled from a fixed position that's here so this is where it's crucial you don't want to move the pole you want to leave it in the same spot a bipod is very useful at this point so i'll call this gps and we'll call it resection There we go. That's the first resection point. We will do three measurements by default. You can do more if you want, but once again, that's enough. We'll hit OK. And you'll notice now our first point has been taken. It, we're still locked onto the prism, uh, but now the, uh, the, what is it? The dialogue is actually asking specify another control point and I'll do the same thing again. We will walk to a brand new position. Uh, right now our position is uh you know still fixed at uh this kind of accuracy you can always check uh the validity of your actual points by checking it under uh under this screen over here but we are connected to the actual uh gps and the total station and i'm about to move the pole again so bear with me all right so as you can see just based on the horizontal angle i moved a little bit uh, not quite enough. Again, my uh, field of view is limited by the actual facility that I'm um, at in the training center. But I am now looking at uh, a different angle, different distance, and it'll be a different point. So we'll call it 102. And you might have noticed that it went from float to fixed. And that's because the conditions, again, trees might interfere with the accuracy of the GPS. But if this doesn't say fixed, you need to make sure that your conditions are right and that uh, you have the right position for um, giving the robot the best 
conditions to figure out its 2D resection over here. So angle, new point number, still the same height. We'll measure and we'll accept this. And we will now glance and look at these points over here. Again, this is GPS point that is going to be married to the point that we just uh, recorded the angle and the distance to. Um, I'll do a couple of accurate measurements, one, two, and three. Hit the store button. And if you have enough information, you should have a, a report. And this report will give you somewhat of your accuracy. And again, this is marrying GPS with a total station, which is more accurate. It's telling you that your vertical angle was fluctuating this much. Or horizontally, we were really good because, again, uh, that's how GPS is. Uh, Height-wise, we can be ex we can expect the resection to work up to about four hundredths of a foot. So, if you're unhappy with this thing, you can go ahead and actually remeasure. But I will accept this for now, just to uh, display. Uh, what the results afterwards show. So I just accepted it. If I go into survey now in the total station mode, it's not going to complain to me. And it will actually show you whether uh, the position of the prism is. We are near some trees, so you can actually see that the GPS is uh, floating. But uh, let me see if I can see my current position and other points just so that we see the other point so we have a position for the robot which is sitting inside the building the door is open here and the extent that i could have moved and again you would kind of want to do at least a 90 degrees so ideally i would be here but because of the uh, doors um, uh, being open i wasn't able to actually go all the way out here but this essentially that angle now allows you to uh, calculate the position of your point number one point number one being uh, resected to a northern easting elevation based on the two points that you actually took outside and I guess we didn't rename this point so I'll just give it a name we'll call it GPS resection just to be uh, consistent so um, this way the job is established my GPS is now in autonomous mode and it's probably because it's so clean or so close to the actual trees but um, my connection and everything still connected. Oh, my radio link dropped. That's probably because it is too far from uh, where I'm actually sitting. So let's do this. Uh, this is it. Uh, from this point on, just verify that you are actually fixed if you're trying to switch over to the GPS mode. If you're not, again, this is where you'll have to go and troubleshoot. And I see my connection was uh, uh, broken over here. So. Uh, that's for another video over here but as far as the hybrid setup is now established and you can go ahead and start shooting your points from your occupied point number one inside the building outside the building to the accuracy of however the actual robot is tracking a prism which right now happens to be in horizontal angle this maybe vertical angle over here tells you that it's actually tracking you and maybe a horizontal distance there we go so you know where the actual robots is looking all right hope this was helpful and uh, if you have any questions or comments let me know